guys welcome back to another video today's video is a closet declutter this is my son jace's room he is 13 years old and i'm gonna start by taking all this stuff out of his closet i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and don't forget to subscribe for more If you guys are new here to my channel, hello, my name is Monica. I am almost 38 years old and I have an 18 year old, a 13 year old, and a seven month old. My seven month old is my daughter and the other two are boys. So I've been a boy mom for 17 years and then I got pregnant. Anyways, enough about me. My home needs decluttering so badly. So I would love for you guys to stick around. I have a ton more motivation coming because I'm going to be going through my whole house. And if this is the first video you're seeing, this is the second closet that I've done. I did another declut decluttering video on my daughter's closet already. And I decluttered a little bit in my kitchen already, but there's still more to come. Okay, so now I got everything out of the closet for the most part except for a bunch of things on the floor and then it just hit me it's like oh yeah I forgot when I painted their rooms I painted both my boys rooms I mixed up a color by myself like with paints I already had and it got like this brownish kind of color that you see on the walls well I didn't paint the closet so <laughs> I'm just showing you all the stuff that I got out of his closet and you guys will see like a big pile of stuff in the back of my Durango that we ended up getting rid of. I recently bought this paint at Walmart. It was Glidden paint and it was called Fossil Gray. And it's a lot lighter than what you see on the walls in this room right now. And that paint that I mixed up is totally flat. Like I don't really want flat paint on the walls. Like my kids aren't little. Well, the boys aren't little. So they're not going to be like making a ton of smudges, but... I still think it would look nicer if it was a little bit, you know, had some kind of like shine to it. But anyway, so eventually I will be painting both of my boys' rooms with the fossil gray paint. And right here, I'm going to be sweeping out the closet. And eventually, I actually end up painting this closet because when I want to repaint their whole rooms, I don't want to repaint like take everything out of the closet whatever is in there at the time and then repaint the closet again
Okay, so I took everything out of the closet, and as you can see inside of the closet, it's green, and this is my youngest son's bedroom, Jace's room. He's 13, and I just repainted both my son's rooms this color back here. I mixed that color myself, but it's a little too dark for what I usually would like. And so eventually I'm going to be painting it the fossil gray color that I got, the Glidden's fossil gray from Walmart. So since I'm gonna be doing that eventually, I figured since I already have his closet emptied out, I went ahead and took that shelf back there down and I put some um, joint compound in the holes, like pushed them in. I pushed the holes in with the back of a screwdriver first. Um, and then I filled it with a joint compound. I'm waiting for it to dry. And then I'm going to start painting his closet. Um, I don't know if that's gonna be on camera or not, but I do have a box here. I found an empty Walmart box. So, um, I was thinking, like, I have not seen him play with this, like, tech deck stuff. He got this for his last birthday. Um, he hasn't even had it a year, like, almost a year. But I haven't seen him playing with it lately. And he did not want to do this with me. And it's funny, is like, now that everything is actually out, it doesn't really seem that bad. I mean, there's, like, blankets. Like, I mean, he's a teenager. There's not, like, a ton of toys. But this stuff, I will put into this box I believe and then there's actually Legos and stuff too and I was thinking like I know he doesn't play with the Legos and I was kind of thinking about keeping them for my daughter and then I thought about it and I was thinking that um by the time she's old enough to play with those that's just a long time to hold on to Legos at first my first thought was like Legos are expensive I should just hold on to them because one day I'm sure she'll want to play with some Legos. But it's not like she needs Legos. You know, she doesn't need it. So I figure, like, if I find clothes and stuff, that's a whole nother story. Because when she's older, she is going to need clothes. You know? But she doesn't need Legos. Like, I have a bunch of other toys already um for like up until like maybe three or so or you know so I don't really need the Lego so that's my thought process um if you guys are stuck on something like that like if you hold on to things for your babies until they're older unless you absolutely have all the room in the world um I suggest like clothes shoes like that's different because they'll need that kind of stuff but like Legos even though yeah they're expensive but by that time I'm sure we can get some Legos. You know what I mean? So I will be getting rid of the Legos. I am going to put this box or bin of wires that you guys saw right here. I'm going to be putting that away probably in the garage because I don't know what those go to at all. And there's a bunch more wires I have in my laundry room that I decluttered from my entertainment center that I'm using as a kitchen island now, which all that stuff I need to declutter too, because I just stuck it into the laundry room in boxes. So anyways, so that is my thought process right now. So I'm just waiting for this stuff to dry. It goes on pink and it dries white. I, um, I might actually need to add some more, but yeah, I will be painting this closet. I think it'll look much better. And I thought about leaving it. I was like, oh, I'm not really in the mood to paint. But then again, it's one of those things like I have everything out of the closet and it would be one less thing to do when I actually have to paint his bedroom. Because obviously I didn't get to the closet when I was painting his bedroom the first time. So that is my thought process on that. Might as well just get it done well, it's easier to access, you know what I mean? Also, my daughter totally just woke up. <laughs> so, it's fine, because I still have to wait for that to dry a little bit longer anyways. I can go ahead and feed her if she's hungry, and I will get back into it when I can. This might actually go on until tomorrow. So, today is Friday, and my youngest son is going to his dad's 
um, Earl is not his dad, if you didn't know that. So he is going to his dad's this weekend. That is why I chose to start this today. I wasn't planning on painting the closet, like I said, but I figured with my daughter having such like random times where I can like actually do stuff like this, I figured it's easier on Friday when he's not here so I can have this stuff still laying on the bed if I want to. I don't have to like cart it all out there. So yeah, that is why I'm doing it today. Okay, so I just put the first coat of paint inside the closet. This is not dry yet, so it'll dry a little bit darker. But Okay, y'all, it is a new day and I'm in the garage because I'm going to be using something that I was going to get rid of, but I decided I'm going to use it in my son's closet. Let me show you. So under all this stuff is a baby changing table, so I've got to clear that off and bring it inside.
Okay, so I was thinking about putting the blankets on the bottom shelves, which I might end up doing later because it would probably look a lot better so it wouldn't be so crowded up there. Um, actually, I'm going to do that right now. Okay, y'all, don't mind the noise in the background, but I just wanted to hop on here real quick and say that I hope that motivated you guys to declutter a space. Even if you don't have, like, cute bins or whatever, you know, you can look around your house and use what you have. It's so much cheaper and functional sometimes is better if you're saving money. You know, you don't have to go out and get the best of everything. It's in a closet anyways. Like, he's the only one going to be looking at it. <laughs> But um, maybe one day it'll look a little bit more, you know, just look nicer. But for now, it's what works for us. And I hope this gives you guys a lot of motivation. And don't forget, if you made it this far, don't forget to subscribe. If you're new here, there will be more to come. Thanks for watching. Bye.